Thank you very much. We've got to go. Now. The situation in Ramayar village has changed drastically. We don't know much more than that. We're hearing reports that the villagers are killing each other. Some say houses are burning. Regardless, we need to move. Kill! Kill! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> help! Somebody please help! What's going on here? I... Don't worry about me. I'm fine. Don't waste your time on me. Saving the villagers is far more important. We haven't a moment to lose. What can we do amid such confusion? We'll have to take up arms against the villagers who are rampaging. If we strike carefully, it should be possible to spare their lives. Oh dear. Isn't there a more peaceful way to deal with this? No matter how long it takes, we'll need to check and rescue them all, one at a time. Those who have gone mad may be victims themselves. Is it possible to save them? Well, saving the poor people who aren't crazy is definitely our top priority. Let's get on with it. Slow down, Annette. It won't do anyone any good if we panic and get injured ourselves. Isn't that... Your Highness, suspicious figures spotted in the village. They seem to be... watching the chaos. Are they the ones responsible for this madness? If so... It's clear what must be done. Kill them all. Don't let a single one of them escape. Sever their limbs and crush their wicked skulls! There are some suspicious looking ruffians out there, but our top priority is to rescue the villagers. Got it? I'll rein in the villagers who've turned violent. You focus on rescuing the others. Here goes. Sure thing. 
Ready. Kill. Kill. What should I do? giving orders to the others. Isn't that Chamas, the librarian?
Thank you. Starting to see results. Tomas, what are you doing here? I'm not Tomas. My name is Solon, the savior of all. What's the matter? So shocked you can't even speak. <laughs> you were so easily fooled by my disguise. I was hiding away in Garrick Mach to get the blood of that little girl called Flame. With her blood, we'll be one step closer to realizing our goal. I'll have a bit of fun here, too. That's the Death Knight. He must be an ally of Tomas, or Solon, or whoever he is.
Seems I prevailed. Rescued as many as we can. Now it's time to capture Sol. I'll do my best. I'll cut through. Stay focused. Here we go. How? Thanks. Thank <laughs> you. 
You are but a savage, insignificant beast. Yet you think you can kill me? No chance to prevail. <laughs> Fellstar. This will be a fine opportunity to measure your power. Why have you gone after this village? What are you planning? Huh. I could have conducted this experiment on any test subjects. Now that I have what I came for, I must bid you farewell. I must go. Wait! Damn it, he's gone. <laughs> I will survey the village. There may still be some survivors. My thank you so Looks like we somehow managed to sort things out and casualties were kept to a minimum. They said they weren't picky about who they used as their test subjects. Because of them, the people of Ramire Village. There you are. That armor. So, you're the Flame Emperor. Yes. I believe you have met my subordinate, the Death Knight. We've met all right, but back to you. You're the one responsible for the destruction of this village. Do not get the wrong idea. What in blazes does that mean? It is true that I am working with Solon, but that does not mean our objectives are the same. Had I known they planned to do this, I would have stopped it. You have my word. Your words are meaningless. Now... I'll have to insist that you accompany us back to the monastery. I cannot abide that. However, if you wish to join forces, I will hear your plea. What? If left to their own devices, they will commit countless more violent acts like this one. Do you not wish to prevent that? With the sword of the Creator on our side, Solon would not be a threat. Pity, though not unexpected. Pray that you do not live to regret your choice. Gerald, Professor, have you seen His Highness? What's wrong, kid? Huh? Oh, damn it! He's gone. Hey, I've been meaning to talk to you. Since coming to the monastery, you've changed. You've been angry since we first arrived in Ramire Village. And you look so happy when you're instructing the brats. Before the monastery, I'd never seen you bear your emotions like that. Not once. Then perhaps it's a good thing we came to the monastery. If only so I could see your face lit up like that. Or maybe there was never any reason for us to leave the monastery in the first place. Ah, uh, I've put my foot in my mouth, haven't I? Though I suppose it may be nearly that time. 
Come to my office when you next have a moment to spare. There's something I need to tell you. Just what was that about? I can't recall a time of old when you were at the monastery. I wonder what is hiding in the mist that is your past. Professor, I... I'm sorry you saw that side of me in the village. It must have been quite a shock to you and the others. I'm mortified by my behavior. When I saw the chaos and violence there, my mind just went completely dark. I see why you would say that. I always strive to keep my emotions at bay, but sometimes the darkness takes hold and it's impossible to suppress. It just shows you how lacking I am. I have much to learn. I've told you before that someday we may find ourselves facing something we simply cannot accept. That's what the chaos in Ramayar village was to me. Solon and the Flame Emperor are both beasts who must be eliminated. Demons who kill the innocent. They aren't even human at this point. It must be hard to fathom. It's true that I don't have any strong connection to those villagers. And yet... You see, Professor, I saw the same flames of torment just four years ago. In Dusker. Please, have mercy! <sighs> the pain! Make the burning stop! Help me! Somebody! Avenge us! Those who killed us, tear them apart, destroy them all! <sighs> my father, my stepmother, four years ago, they lost their lives to those flames. I'll never forget. I still remember their faces, their screams, the tortured last moments of every person who died that day. But right now, all that matters is that we do whatever we can to help the surviving villagers get back to their normal lives. Thank you for everything. There's a reason that I came to the Officers' Academy. Just one reason. I came here for revenge. And one day, I will have it. You did well handling that awful business in Umayyar village. I am certain the goddess shares in our grief at the senselessness of that calamity. More importantly, I was shocked to hear that our own Tomas was actually a dark mage. I must reflect on our blindness. You surely must. You failed to notice that a wrath was hiding in your home. Pathetic! Who are these wicked foes? How did Tomas escape your gaze? Tomas came to the monastery 40 years ago, by recommendation of House Ordelia of the Alliance. Around eight years ago, he went back to House Ordelia, before returning to the monastery once again, just last year. After having worked at Garrig Mach for decades, why would he betray us now? Just what did he hope to accomplish? Yuritsa became a professor at the Officers' Academy because of a recommendation from the Imperial Nobility. Supposing that he is the Death Knight, that means that our enemy is an organization that has taken root in at least two territories. In the long history of the Church of Seros, no, long before even that, there have been an endless number of threats to the peace of Fodlan. Yet those who oppose us still operate in the shadows. Their identity is a mystery. I believe that Solon and the Death Knight are merely one part of a much larger whole. A threat to Fodlin's peace? That means we have no choice. 
We have to stop them all. I have truly come to rely on you. I believe that the monastery will remain safe so long as we have you. We do not yet know the enemy's objective or whereabouts. For now, please devote yourself to preparing for whatever comes next. That is all for today. Professor, please wait. I know there is much that you still do not understand. However, one thing is clear. You possess great power. I believe that you are destined to be a source of great hope for all. In any case, I expect great things from you. Walk this world proudly, dear Professor. May the goddess Sothis protect you. The goddess Sothis? Is that what she just said? Is something the matter? I see. In that case, farewell. Do not say something that we may regret. She... I... What exactly am I? For now, let's leave this place. Please, go!